Hi, I'm Peyton. And I'm Corbin. And welcome to the first episode of Bearcat News. Star of this episode, we'd like to congratulate our summer birthdays. Happy birthday to... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to you. Now over to sports. I am Denai. I'm here with your volleyball updates. Milford Volleyball attended the Cisna Park tournament and got second place, losing to Cisna Park in the championship pool. Hunter Mowry, Anna McEwen, and myself were named all tournament team. Since the tournament, we had several games, and here are some of the stats. The MCP Bearcats kicked off their season starting 3-0. The Bearcats started their season with a dominant win over rival Flanagan Cornell Woodland, 67-16. Tyler Newcomb led the way with 162 yards rushing, including four touchdowns. Sawyer LaFoon had added 130 rushing yards and 93 passing with four total touchdowns. Gavin Shunky added an interception on defense. The Bearcats then traveled to Martinsville to play in a very humid and hot game. The Bearcats held off Martinsville with a score of 36-20. Tyler Newcomb had a strong offensive day with 101 yards and two touchdowns. Mason Blank at 108 yards, rushing, rushing Justin Tillman and Carter Borders also added one touchdown each. On defense, Sawyer LaFoon added three second half interceptions. Week three, the Bearcats continued their long road trip going to Blue Ridge, winning 22-8. The defense came up big, only allowing eight points the whole game while allowing zero passing yards the whole game. Chase Couture had a career game with 16 total tackles, four tackles for loss, and one sack while also having one catch for 22 yards in offense. Justin Tillman had 58 receiving yards with two touchdowns. Sawyer LaFoon had 100 rushing yards and 140 passing yards with three passing touchdowns. Hi, this is David with the Soccer Recap. The Warriors' current record is 5-4. and four. Their wins consist of a 10-1 win over Moments, 5-2 win over Central, 5-2 win over St. Anne, 4-3 win over Schlarman, 6-2 win over Grace Christian. They have lost quite a few close games this season that include a 3-0 loss to Hoopson, 5-4 loss to Bismarck, 3-1 loss to Iroquois West, and the biggest loss was an 8-0 loss to Oakwood slash Salt Fork. The Warriors are overall looking like a, di like a different team this year and are taking the conference by surprise. Everyone on the team is putting in a great effort, especially the boys from Milford. Caden and David are stepping up big time this year and are taking care of the offense. Caden has seven goals while David has six. They're also some of the top assisters on the team. Aiden and Andrew are both holding down the defense. Aiden has been super reliable this year and has made a huge impact on his freshman season. Zach and Jason have also been playing well this season. They have both been a huge spark off the bench and work very hard when they come into the game. The Warriors are looking to continue to win games and be a serious contenders in the conference and win regionals when it comes. Melford's golf season has been pretty successful so far with our record being at 19 and eight. The team has had a few members medal in a couple of different matches. The team's current averages are as follows. Aiden Port Portwood, 46.3. Peyton Hardwood, 47.5. Salem Estes, 47.9. Owen Halpin, 50.5. RJ Mann, 56.6. And Jace Boyer with an average of 55.6. The VVC match is coming up on the 22nd of September and is set to be played at Harrison Park. Regionals for this year will be played at our home course, Schwami Country Club, and we are hoping to move on to sectionals either as a team or as individuals. Thanks guys, now over to our people of the week. Hey, I'm Drake, and I'm here with our senior person of the week. Keaton Deport. Cadence. What's your favorite season? Fall. Probably fall. Why? Because it's sweater weather. Love the colder weather. Uh, the leaves are pretty, temperature's cool. What are your plans for after high school? Uh, might take a job offer that um, my nephew offered. Probably go to college. I don't really know where, but we'll see. All right, how does it feel to be person of the week? It's all right. <laughs> nice Solid. to know I'm wanted. <laughs> Truly an honor, you know, so cool for that. What is your favorite kind of music? Uh, usually pop or sometimes older country rock. Probably anything 90s music, kind of overall. What's your favorite song? Um, Careful by uh, Guster. Shoot by Salt and Pepper. Banger. And is there anything else you'd like to tell the viewers? No. Thank you. <laughs> we're out. And we're out again. Thank you, Dev, once for favorite.
<laughs> Thank you. Congrats to Keaton Davenport and Keynes Cooster. Now over to weather with Cameron. Good afternoon, Bearcats. My name is Cameron, and I'm your weatherman for this episode. For Monday, it'll be sunny with a high of 88 and a low of 67 and a 10% chance of rain. For Tuesday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 88 and a low of 67 and a 6% chance of rain. For Wednesday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 85 and a low of 63 and a 15% chance of rain. And for Thursday, it'll be cloudy with a high of 75 and a low of 55 and a 22% chance of rain. And finally for Friday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 75 and a low of 55 and a 24% chance of rain. Now that's all for this week's weather. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Cameron. Now we are heading over to the school news with Caleb and Allie. The homecoming dance will be held October 8th. Eligibility will be taken September 30th. If you are planning to bring a non-MHS student, you need to pick up a date request form in advance and return it by October 4th. The dress-up days for homecoming week will be pajama day, neon day, glam day, surfers vs. bikers, and class color day. Freshmen will be green, sophomores are white, juniors are red, and seniors will be blue. Coronation and variety show will be held on Thursday, October 6th. This is, an open, this is open to the community to attend. The homecoming football game will be held Friday, October 7th. The FFA is also hosting their annual hog roast on Friday night as well. Tickets are available for $10. Dine in or carry out at the Park Pavilion. We will share more details as available and look forward to a great homecoming. Thanks, Caleb and Allie. Now over to CrossFit Talk with P-Dog. What was your what was the favorite thing you did this summer? Football and baseball. Uh, all the summer sports like baseball, basketball, and football. Uh, swimming. Uh, probably working. Favorite season? Favorite season, I gotta go with summer. No school, come on now. Summer. Fall. Uh, summer. If you had have one class to your schedule, what would it be? Probably out of shop class. Mr. Schongberg sounds like a really cool dude. Probably Bearcat News. Art. APC. Favorite movie? Uh, might have to go with uh, Dazed and Confused. Talladega Nights. Uh, Big Daddy. Where the Crawdads Sing. What is your favorite food? Uh, pizza. Um, pizza. What was the favorite thing you did this summer? Basketball. If you could add one class to your schedule, what would it be? Another APC. Favorite food? Bacon. Favorite movie? Cars. Favorite sport? Basketball. Favorite season? Fall. What number is 9 plus 10? 21. There you have it, folks. Oh, wait. There you have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in to our first episode of Bearcat News. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you for watching.